What is this, folks? One of you will know. I have no idea. friends hello welcome back got my dumpster apron on I have been busting it out today the kids and I and one of the kids friends came along and we went on a oh boy what can only be, be described as an arduous hike <laughs> the Upper Falls Trail in Provo Canyon it's like this the whole way up it was rough it was tough but we did it it was awesome feeling good hiking's going well I was feeling jazzed up you know when you're like working out on a consistent basis which for me working out has become hiking or hiking is my working out now um you start getting more energy right and you start feeling better and and you're wanting to do stuff and i came home and i'm like well shoot i'm getting some stuff done we're continuing to work on practicing what we preach staying on top of our dumpster stuff as well as everything else in our lives so that we're not just constantly bringing in more stuff, more inventory, more treasures, and not having a place to put them or a way to, to manage it. And I've decided this is the time that I am getting on top of it, reclaiming my home, my yard, my sanity, my van, everything, my attic, and putting into place, implementing systems and, and you know practices that are gonna make this a much smoother, you know, less stressful, more enjoyable, more productive, more lucrative journey from here on out. Make this, you know, treat it like a real business. I keep saying that I wanna be taken seriously by my husband, by my, you know, family and friends, by people on YouTube, whatever. That means I have to treat it seriously. You know, take it seriously and really practice what I preach. And that's what we've been doing this week. You've seen it. We've been we've been cleaning house. Uh, today, I have been working on eBay stuff, yard sale stuff, those kinds of things, and also you know chores around the house. But what I've also been doing is cleaning the rest of my upstairs bathroom, doing the deep clean. I made a deal with myself that once I deep cleaned that bathroom, we would get to see this, this treasure, this of wonderful stack of goodies. That's my vacuum. I already had that. And those in the hallway are some of my winter blankets that are going up in the attic, hallelujah, getting out of my way. But all of this, all of this, oh yeah. But anyway, that big pile of stuff, that was my neighbor, my good friend and neighbor. She finished her basement. And yesterday, while we were off on an adventure, she dropped off all these boxes of goodies for us. But I said, Julie, uh-uh, you made a promise and you're gonna stick to it. You're gonna get your chores done before you jump into that. All right, frugal friends, we have the dumpster tablecloth set up on the floor. We are gonna jump in. First, we've got this International Silver Company raised cake or pie plate, and it looks like it even comes with the serving uh, spatula. Yep, and it is all in there. I'm guessing this is probably one of those, you know, wedding gifts that ends up in a closet and you rarely use. But in my family, we use stuff like this actually all the time. Olivia is always baking, making creations, experimenting. And I love to use things like this as often as possible. We have so many things, you know, that we say we're saving for special occasions or events. But every day that you're alive, my frugal friends, that is a special event. That is an occasion break out the silver, break out the china and the fancy dishes and use them for your cheese and crackers. I mean, you're alive right now. You might not be tomorrow. Next, oh, this is great. Glow in the dark musical mobile. It looks like it has been used, but is still obviously in really great condition. Retail there, 20 bucks. Super nice. This, uh, we have no use for it. My factory is closed, as far as babies go, but I'm thinking someone's gonna want that. Make a few bucks. Uh, what is this, folks? One of you will know. I have no idea. Oh, how cute is this? 
Oh my goodness, it's a little small for my kids. Well, maybe Mariah will want to use it. Well, probably her and Reagan will want to use it, but it is, it's a little small. I'm thinking we'll play with it for a day or two, but then, oh, there comes Mimi. <laughs> she, she's going to try that sucker out and go riding around, but then we'll probably sell it. A couple of really nice dowels. There's always use for those. A little empty jewelry box. All right, horsey, go in the other room. Uh, this has a whole bunch of nails, and it says, Managers do the impossible every day. I, what is this about, guys? It's just a bunch of nails. There's, the rest are in there. Uh, I have no idea. Any of you know what the point is of this? Is this some kind of, like, zen type? I don't know. One of you will know. Hangers, whole bunch of the little hangers. We actually are getting rid of a whole bunch of little hangers ourselves. Mariah is the last one using them, and her shirts are just about too big for them now, so we're gonna switch over and bring down a bunch of the grown-up hangers that we have in the attic that are from the bins, of course. All right, horsey. And so I'm thinking we'll gather up all of hers and all of these, and we will sell them. A remote, an RCA remote. Remotes are a hit and miss kind of thing. I sell some online, I sell some in the yard sales. Another little disc holder case. There's a lot of other things you could do with this though, I think, especially this fun little size. More binders to add to our many binders. All right, Mimi, go in there. We've got some books on project management and who's running your career. We will look these up on eBay and Amazon. Uh, a very pretty glass box. It's got a company name on it, but and it, and it is um, engraved or whatever. So, but I don't know, we could come up with something to do with this, put some kind of something on there if we wanted to. There's some really heavy dice. These are really heavy dice. And they say things like genuinely, be thankful, be sincere, today, right away. Really, really heavy. We'll look these up, see if we can find something similar online to get evaluation. A little stress ball, all about management and stuff like that a running theme great performers 2006 i have no idea what you're supposed to do with that it's another heavy little piece it's got some felt right there what are you supposed to put there i don't know it might be magnetic perhaps and then collaborative web development another book that we will look up Next, we have a box of electronics. This is for putting a TV on. It's just metal. It's part of like a TV stand that you would put on the wall. There's the hardware, the pieces. I'm not sure how to go about selling this, if I should do it in a yard sale or online. I don't know. It's quite heavy, so shipping would be an issue. We have some Team Smart Mastery Works cards. I'm, I'm going to look these up online because the ones I found at Toys R Us that were like a team building thing, those sold really well. So we're going to look it up. We have a really nice pen, fancy kind of pen. I do not know what brand it is, and it doesn't look like it says, but I am a bit of a pen kind of person. I won't spend hundreds of dollars on a pen like I know some people do, but I do like a quality pen. So I'll probably keep that for myself. This is a projector lamp module. Some kind of piece for this projector that's down here. I'll show you that in a minute. So we can probably sell that as a replacement part, I'm guessing, but I'll have to look it up. This is the projector. It's not one I'm at all familiar with, but I believe she said it just needs a new bulb 
I'm thinking that's what she said, so I'll double check with her, but I think that's what it was. So I'm just gonna sell it as is. And we'll see how it does. Here we have an old school disc holder, like your little computer discs. That's fun. I'm gonna look that up online and see if it has any kind of resale value. I'm sure there are some creative folks who could come up with something they could do with that, but uh, if nothing else, it'll end up in the yard sale or being donated or hopefully maybe recycled. Tons of cords, all kinds of fabulous cords. And, you know, I'm going to try to sell these at the yard sale. There are some USB cords, all kinds of other cords. I could, you know, just sell this whole bag for a couple of bucks. Uh, worst case scenario, if they don't sell, though, all of these cords can be recycled you know, at the metal shop. This is a gorgeous little magnet, little glass star magnet, and that is going on the dumpster magnet board. P.S. If you guys would like to send anything to us, including but not limited to magnets for the magnet board, keychains for the keychain board, or postcards or spoons, we would love it. We would love to see those and we will showcase them here on the channel. Find our P.O. Box address in the video description. That's so pretty. Next box, we have a mug. Hot docs. Hot docs. Whole bunch of old discs. Not sure what to do with these. Not sure how to recycle them or upcycle them. If you guys have any ideas, please tell us in the comments got instructional booklets we will look through these and see if there are any that are worth trying to resell otherwise we will recycle same with these this is fantastic a whole bunch of computer speakers that's great and where they're just from her basement they're just you know kind of extra kind of stuff I'm not worried about them not working. We will go ahead and test them, and obviously they need to, you know, be wired up or whatever, but we might we might keep some of these for ourselves. I don't know. I don't know. They are Norcent brand. Not familiar with it, but if we don't keep them for ourselves, we will definitely look them up, see what kind of resale value they have, if it's worth putting them online or just selling them in the yard sale. There's this big guy here like a surge protector, yep, surge protector. And it's got all these different little things there, whole bunch of outlets meant for your computer. We already have a surge protector on our computer and I think it has more plugs than this one. So we will sell this in the yard sale. We've got a little frame. We'll take the stuff out of there and use that frame, it's pretty. More wires and cords that we'll add to the other ones. Well, no, because, let's see, this one is hooked up to a little speaker, and this other one is hooked up to, I'm not going to pull it all the way out, but there's the subwoofer right there, so that's awesome. We'll just probably sell all those together. And then we've got an old keyboard. Just put that in the yard sale. I always have keyboards in my yard sales because I hit so many schools, you know. This isn't even from schools, but there's a old school little mouse. More cords. More cords. These are some cut cords. We will just add these to that bag of cords that we're just going to sell in, you know, as like a bulk price or end up selling at the metal scrap place. This, actually, I'm going to hold on to because it's kind of a generic size, and I ended up needing one of these for the printer that we just bought, so I'm going to hold on to this one for just-in-case purposes. Bunch of little metal bits, odds and ends, tools, assorted things. These, I, you know, some screws and stuff, I can see these coming in handy on a crafting project, but if we don't end up doing that, we can definitely use them, um, or I mean, uh, put them in the metal scrap. I don't know what you do with these. I know they go to computers somehow, but uh, I don't know. Can they, can they go to metal scrap? I'm not familiar with these. 
A whole bunch more cords. There's another extension cord. I don't know that I need any extension cords because I do have, I do have a lot of extension cords, but they are good to have on hand, especially where, you know, at Christmas I do a lot of lights. This same one, we've got three of that same kind of plug. So I'm gonna keep this one because it's the nicest, newest looking one, and then the others will let go. Some kind of fan. It says Antec. I will look that up. You know, it could, you know, maybe be sold as a replacement part, something like that. If we don't end up doing that, I can totally see this being a little box fan for the American girls. Think outside the box, guys. Think laterally. One of these little things. Is that like a hard drive? Yeah, that's how computer literate I am, guys. I'm thinking that's what that is, but I really don't know. The thing I love about these, I have always loved about these, they look like little cities. And I just go into my little imagination and I'm all pretending to drive around and walk around this little city. Anyway, what can I say? I'm a creative. All right, that is all of that. We still have two boxes and a barrel to go through. Please be sure to check the video description for links to our social media accounts. There you will get exclusive access to pictures and videos of different things that we have going on on a daily basis. And you will find out how you can contribute and help support the mission of saving and salvaging. Have a great day, guys.